Hey Flying Dolphins, I thought I would show you some images of the swing of Jinyanko, the world number one LPGA player who just regained the number one slot from Nelly Korda. She has a superb record and some recent accomplishments too. If you look back at the last two seasons, she made 16 of 17 cuts. She had four wins, 11 top 10s, 13 top 25s, and an average score of 69.1. Indeed, she also equaled Annika Sorenstam's record of 14 straight rounds in the 60s. Absolutely incredible. I thought a few key lessons that she has highlighted recently, but that you can also see from some of the images on the swing, are worth highlighting. One of the things she says is that, and she's one of the best iron strikers on the LPGA Tour, or worldwide in fact, is that her target is always the centre of the green. So her target with her irons is always the centre of the green, something a lot of amateurs could learn from. She does have a slight over-the-top swing, but she repeats it consistently. What does that tell you? It tells you that if you know your swing, if you know your tendencies, you can adjust your alignment, your position, to have that tendency work well for you. It does mean occasionally, in her case, she's a right-hander, she would hit slightly to the left or a slight pull from time to time if she overdoes it or if she doesn't make that compensation. All of us have a particular swing and a particular tendency. The issue is to know it and then play with it and to it. She has a great composure and a great posture, as you will see from the images. Very balanced, very relaxed, smooth swing. And that is something that's true of so many top LPGA golfers. On setup, one of the key things on setup, particularly for the driver, is that her feet are wider than her shoulders. So she has, she creates that stability because of her posture to be very stable through the movement, even though she, of course, shifts her weight, uses her back leg as a pivot. As she goes back, and, and then, of course, lifts her back foot as she goes through to the finish. Notably, she stores a lot of power and she creates that because even as she's halfway back, her back has turned more than her shoulders. So she's creating that rotation and that power with her back turn much more than her shoulders. Obviously those of us who are more senior are not able to do that quite as easily and hence one of the tips is to pull your back leg a couple of inches back so that you can enable that wider turn. As part of that she also adds to that a huge width so her hands are far away as she turns back. So she creates that huge width. You can also see the stored power when she's at the top because her club is pointing, her wrist are cocked and her club is pointing to the target. And then as she comes down and through, it's very interesting that halfway down she, the club is pointing at one o'clock. 
you will see that in the image above. So although her arm is parallel on the way down, she, the club is pointing at one o'clock, creating that huge lack. And that is key to that stored power that she created with her initial turn. As she comes down through impact, you will see a couple of things. One is she has already shifted her weight onto the front foot, lifting her back foot slightly, even though she's still got that lean of the shoulders so that she hits up on the ball. And then she stays looking at the ball as she comes through. So she covers the ball and she straightens her back arm, which is a key to a great follow through as she comes through. She has a superb balance as you see in the images and I've put up a couple of images of her finish show you how she then ends up looking at the target on her finish. What is also important as she comes through into the finish is that her right shoulder leads to the target, not the left. So it's not left, it's the right shoulder. Even though she opens her hips, it's a right shoulder that leads her to the target, then her head, and then the left shoulder. So that sequencing is key to storing and using that power and keeping consistent direction, consistent hits onto fairways, onto greens. She is so good at that. So I hope these few key pointers on one of the greatest women professional golfers has been helpful to you. It's great to male club golfers because our distances are somewhat similar, but we can learn so much from the superb rhythm, focus, posture, tempo that LPGA greats have like Jin Yanko. She also has a work ethic that is absolutely incredible. A recent piece on golf.com summarized her thoughts about how much practice she puts in. And she considers herself, even though she's the world's number one, still a student of the game. She talks about herself as still learning, still being a student of the game, in spite of everything she's achieved and put in. And that is tantamount to her discipline, her drive to get better, to keep making improvements, to put in the practice, to have an effective practice system, and to hone in all the elements of her game. She also is an absolutely superb putter. Of course she would be having achieved the sort of results that I listed out at the outset. I do recommend you watch some of her play. Fascinating, great battle at the moment between her and Nelly Corda, flip-flopping in the number one position and one or of those two are going to become the LPGA Player of the Year this year. It'll be fascinating to also see who wins the CME tournament on the ladies tour, which is in two or three weeks time. Cheers.